Hi there, I wanted to make a quick video uh, showing you use of the manual tire changer with the Lucid Auto Works uh, duckbill uh, mounting in and removing some uh, tires on aluminum rims from a Volkswagen. And uh, these have been a little bit of a challenge for me in the past. Uh, they're winter uh, tires, got a pretty short um, sidewall. 205, 55, 16s, and they're a pretty rigid sidewall uh, tire. So I've had a, a bit of a struggle before. I want to show you how much easier it is uh, using this duckbill tool. So we can mount the, put the rim on there, and then put the walk in pin in place, and the center and cone and spacer. You can install the duct build to tool in place. Tighten that down. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now my setup's not uh, mounted to the uh, concrete here. I've just done some two by sixes. Uh, definitely be nicer if it was permanently mounted down. <clears throat> and then I can put the duct build in place. Just make sure that spins freely around. And then grab the tire and use it, lube it up with the uh, rib glide. As I described in the previous video, it's kind of become my lube of choice. And we'll lube up both of the beads and I always just do the inside and the outside of them. Alright, we can put that up there, get it in place. So i get it started. Now again, this is where, if you're using the uh, Nomar bar, um, you just have that fastened down, and it's really tough to fit the Nomar bar in to get the first speed in. Now, on a lot of tires, and these included, you can just kind of wrestle it by hand and uh, push the first bead over the aluminum rim. The steel rims, that's really hard because of the sharp edge on the rim, but the aluminum, they go on a little bit easier, but it's really not nearly as easy as this. and it's amazingly easy. Now, as the gentleman from Lucid Auto in his video pointed out, it helps a lot to use one of these uh, tools to keep the other side of the, oops, I'm losing my tire right here, to keep the um, side of the, especially the lower profile, to keep the tire in the drop center as you're rotating around. It really helps to use one of these little tools that you can get on Amazon and eBay. And then once that's kind of in place, you can just rotate around. And of course, they're right in place. Now, this is also another spot that um, was challenging a lot of times, which I'll show you in the dismount of this wheel. This rim is kind of unusual in that it has these notches that go right out to the edge. So a lot of times the um, dismount tool would get stuck in those notches. I can kind of show you what I mean. So using the uh, Nomar tool, we insert it in there and then pull it up. But then as you're pulling around, it gets stuck and it's getting pushed down by the tire and it wants to get stuck on every one of those ridges. And actually, I had a similar problem um, even with the duckbill, and I learned to set it up correctly for removal. You really want it to be up nice and high, um, because even the duckbill, if it's low down, it'll get pushed down by the pressure of the tire as you're taking it off, and it'll want to get stuck on, sometimes on those little ridges too. So a good little hint that I learned is on rims that have these ridges that extend right out to the edge, 
to keep the duck bill up as high as you can to begin with. This is, seems to be very unusual. Um, almost all of the rims I have seen are smooth out the outer edge and it certainly makes life a lot easier. So then for removal, let's see where I can start to, to give you the best view of it. Um, maybe if I start over on this edge, then we push it in, and then make sure that this side's all going down to the drop center. And here hopefully you can see, that's where I'm going to insert my little um, polyethylene tool in the little gap there. Again, especially on uh, um, these tires, they'll have a tendency as you rotate the duct go around to just drop back down and not come out. If you don't do this, I've found anyway. Maybe you know another trick and I'd be interested to learn. So you pull out the iron. And just hold on to this. And you can see as I pull around, it just really wants to pop right off. Makes it very, very simple. And then we can grab onto the lower bead here. That maybe if I, I don't know if you'll be able to see this one if you've got the angle, but it over here so you have a chance of seeing it. Kind of lift up again and in that same spot you just stick our tool. It's actually even easier on this one because it's a lot bigger gap on when you're taking the lower bead off. And a lot of sometimes it's on some tires it's hard to fit the bar down to the bottom and I found it really works just as well to just put it right up on the top. And on uh, the bottom rim, especially if it's moved up a lot, sometimes you do have to kind of grab it and keep it from, um, you know, the tire from wanting to spin around. And it pops right off. So, uh, trust me, this is uh, a lot easier than these rims and tires used to be to mount and dismount um, without this tool. Um, the other thing I'm thinking about doing I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Um, you can see I'm always like reaching for this bar. I'm thinking if, if I can um, perhaps put a little, mount a little pipe um, on the edge here, and then this would insert into that pipe and it would just hold it there. Maybe I wouldn't make it quite as long because I don't think I need the full length. And then I could take it out to mount the tire, but then I could just stick it in there so that um, this lever arm would just stay in place so I don't have to constantly be pushing it in. And like I said, it works, seems to work just as fine up on the top and if I could have something that would just hold it there, um, then I, I think it might be a lot easier. Anyway, that's the next uh, modification. If I try it out and it works well, I'll try to post it. I just like to post these videos um, to hopefully be helpful to some people out there. Definitely learned a lot in the process and this has gotten a lot easier to change the tires than when I started. Um, thanks for watching.